Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to understand another problem we have in the contest problem is Q2. Maximum number of subsequences after one inserting. Very interesting problem. You know, it's very interesting. The question is saying that you are given a string S consisting of uppercase English letter. And you are allowed to insert at most one uppercase English letter at any position. Means the left right or middle okay all these positions you can insert it you are free including the beginning or the end of the string but it is not saying the middle means all the positions any positions i hope you understand right then think the next point what or the next point is saying that next it is saying return the maximum number of lct subsequences that can be formed in the resulting string after at most one insertion and we have to also we have also given uh, the uh, subsequence definition we have already talked so many times means if we'll remove any of the character right deleting some or no without changing the order that is called subsequences we'll understand this how this works right but before that just understand what the question is saying okay so give me one second and what the question is saying question is saying what the question is asking to you right what is the problem is asking so we have given what we have given this string only uppercase letter will be there right only uppercase letter will be there and we want to count how many subsequences are equal to lct there can be many substring right all the subsequences you will find but one of the subsequences not substring one of the subsequences right if one of the subsequences will be equal to this those subsequences we have to count means we have to count how many subsequences are equal to lct understood so such subsequences means will pick the character in any order right but you can skip others also you can skip others let's suppose a uh, very first example if i'll take uh what we can take let's suppose l t l t uh l t l c l c t k we can take then we can take let's suppose uh l l c l t can we say lc pk lc lt okay so if we want to uh, find the lct lct can be formed in many ways right because we, we have l we have c we have and t we have we can get one lct then again we can take l c will this will skip this one and we'll get here right so there is a possibility we can get from here if we'll, there can be other possibilities there if we'll uh, not skip these two this thing we will skip we can get from here and here uh, we can take this one also okay and we get the lc t so like that there is many possibilities that can form many uh, lct right i hope you understand what i'm trying to say and we are allowed to insert one letter l c or t at any position or t any position to maximize the what the count of lct subsequences okay and what are the subsequences are there what is what is, what is subsequences subsequences if somebody will ask you what is subsequences subsequences means character in the same order but not necessarily contagious right it can be skipped also we can skip also let's suppose for a string if we'll take a string we have is a uh, l c c t very simple string right the subsequences for l c t we can get right how we can get it if we'll take we will pick at zero this is zero one two and three if we'll pick l at zero c at one and t at three if three will get we can get the l c t string this is your subsequence we can take what we'll pick 
this one uh, what you call l at 0 c at this and t at here right can we take that so there is two possibilities so total number of count will come what it will come to i hope you understand right so we have to find like this now understand what is the meaning of insert right let's understand let's understand this example what we have given l m c and t so current we have is what uh, what do we call uh, this is your input input string we have and uh, current we can take out lct this one okay so current lct is let's suppose subsequence is one what is the count is there one okay if we will insert uh let's suppose c after l after l if we we'll insert here what what we will insert c then what will become this what, what will become this l c m c t correct we inserted this one this character now how many possibilities are there we know that just we have seen so if we'll pick this one l c and t if we'll pick up pick this we'll pick this and this so total how many ways we can find the lct two ways so we can say there is two ways to find this right i hope you understand the problem let's understand the code okay so very first what we will do we'll define n right we'll get the uh, size of the string then we have to count the existing lct how many existing lct we have right for that let's say count l lc and lct we can find it right three things we have to find count l lc and lct we can define these three right and then one by one character will get from the character array right because if we'll do a string dot two character array we'll get what we'll get the uh, this will get converted into the character array and so for from the character array we can get one by one character at one places so will each character will check if, is this l yeah this is l just increase the count l plus plus you'll get the count from 0 to 1 and so on we'll keep increasing then we'll check for c and then t and we'll increase lc t count we'll keep increasing these counts we can say right for lc we'll increase the count we can get this count and we can add also here right we'll keep adding all the lct you understanding since previously it become one right and this is c right so what is the current value of l that l plus this value right we'll add add here similarly we'll keep adding for lct right so you will have the count of l lct lc and lct right means this final value will get added once the lc is calculated right and if lc is calculated only if l is calculated right like that we have to update our existing lct how many lct is there okay then we'll prepare the insertion right for that what we need to do we'll compute the pre-compute the suffix count of a t and ct why if we have the t and ct we can insert l right so for the insertion of l right what we need to do we have to define suffix t and suffix ct so this is the count for uh will t count after index right and this is ct uh subsequence after the index so we'll find this there okay i'll do the deep drive in another video but i'm going through the uh, code so you can understand then what you will do we'll make a count right and we will int i is equal to n minus one to the uh, i greater than zero right each character you will find and you will get the suffix t because l c t t is the suffix right and then c t before the l what is coming c t is coming l c t so two suffix you have to take right both suffix t and c t will uh, find you will uh, you will uh, have the you have to pre-compute the l c t right and for that you will have these two array you have to define it okay and then if the character is coming you just increase the count there at the uh, at the index 
now you have to traverse and you have to compute me zoom out a little bit so what you need to do first traverse and compute the waste extra right how we are going to do you will have to define this waste extra prefix l and prefix lc we start from the index zero we'll check if the very first option will be insert l and from ct right after this point right so you will get ct count here right and you pass the best extra you will get the best extra you have to update our best extra similarly you will insert c similarly t and C, uh, you, what, what we need to check we have to check after uh, the last person you have to skip right if i is less than n right it's fine get the character check l check c and you update the uh, value okay and finally we'll return the count i hope you understand right we have to insert what lct right for that you have taken prefix and uh, the count so very first what you have done you have counted the existing lct next step uh, we have to prepare the insertion and for prepare the in insertion you have to pre-compute the suffix count of t and ct so that we can insert l right that you have done and then finally you have to traverse the string and then you have find the best best extra we can say that right the prefix l and prefix lc so so so, so very first what you should understand what is our goal our goal is to count the lct subsequences after inserting one letter lct right what are the what are the letters are there l l c and t these are the letters we have right we have to count the maximum number of uh, what you call uh, the subsequences after inserting l c and t right at the at where at the best uh, position we can say and that is why we are getting the best extras okay so very very first what you should do first we want to count what you call existing l c t you remember the prefix method right that is the prefix method we are doing applying here okay so first count the existing l c t that we have seen the prefix count right so we'll find the prefix existing count means we are counting the existing l c t the very first step that we have done in the step one in step two we uh, uh what you call we build the suffix array right why we want to uh, build the suffix array so the suffix what we have suffix we have uh we have created suffix t right so suffix suffix t at i it means what this will store the number of t after position i so after position i what how many numbers are t how how many numbers of t we have that will store means after we can say after position i what you have to do you have to count the number of uh, t can we say that that we will store here then uh, there will there, there will be similarly we have a suffix what do you call ct right suffix ct at i this will store number of ct subsequences after position i can we say that similarly then in the third step this step this is very crucial so in this step what we have done understand so we want to traverse the string to test insertion point let's suppose where will insert l where will insert t where will uh, c where will insert uh, t so to insert l we will use what the ct suffix ct the future ct subsequence this is the future uh, we will use this suffix ct this is ct remember so this is a suffix means uh, this uh, suffix ct at i uh, we have to store what number of ct subsequences after position i right so we will use this suffix ct right because this is our future ct subsequences so if we if we already have ct just understand ct we'll just add l it become a lct the very first we'll insert this right and so that we will find the 
best extra here understand and you have to find the max what is how you know the counts here you you know the best how many best extra you have what is coming maximum so that will be your max value i hope you understand right that is why we are adding the previous values remember the other uh, in the step one then similarly we'll go for check for c and then t so c c will store two things a prefix l and a suffix uh, what do you call t because l uh, we can say l before right l before because we have to insert t because this is before right this is before and this is your t this is after and t after just we'll do the multiply we'll get the all the possibilities right so we we will find this one similarly for the this is suffix right t so we we'll, we need the prefixes what we need the prefixes so that time we'll use the prefixes so pr you have to understand where we'll use the prefix and where we'll use the suffix right suffix will only needed when and when the uh, this suffix required but when we prefix required we'll add the prefixes i hope you understand right means after that you will get these things and you will count the existing count of extra so we all already have a uh, 13 to 15 left let me upload the video but if, if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section anyways thank you for watching this video and please hit subscribe this channel and please like the video so uh, i will provide you the uh, premium videos Thank you guys, thank you for watching this video.